You are listening to the IoT for All Media Network. Uh, so, so what I want to ask you next: um, You mentioned about pioneering uh, Rain RFID. We've talked about RFID um, yeah. on, on the show before. How does this differ, and how does it compare? What is the the value it's providing as opposed to kind of what we all have come to know as uh, on the RFID side? Sure. Yeah. So the, one key aspect of the RAIN RFID is the passive RFID technology. Sure. And so what I mean by passive is it's batteryless. Uh, so when you talk about connecting things like uh, a, a luggage or yep. uh, clothes or a food item, uh, bat- you know, a battery is just not possible. And so uh, it's a passive RFID technology. And then when you compare it to other passive RFID technologies that are also out there, uh, such as NFC that's utilized for for payments with your mobile mm-hmm. phone. Right. Uh, the difference with Rain RFID really comes in the robustness of the link. So it allows us to not to get much longer range, ranges, so up to 10 meters of range versus okay. the proximal uh, nature that you get with NFC. Uh, but it also allows you to be connecting to thousands of items of population versus that one-to-one that you get with NFC. And then all of that can be done with uh, something that costs about, you know, pennies per item Mm. to connect. Mm. And so that really opens up the ability to connect things like parcel and clothing items and uh, luggage, but also brings utility that you don't get with something that's relatively short range that's line of sight and can mm-hmm. only connect one to one. And you know, we've obviously, and you, and you know this better than I do, the evolution of technology in the IoT space, how far it's come, um, where we are now versus where we used to be. Why is now kind of why is it, is it more possible now for a technology like this to exist than it was five, 10, 15 years ago? Well, I think uh, you know, RFID has been evolving for a long period of time, but I think. Why is now the right time for RAIN RFID is really the rising importance of data to enterprises. And so okay. uh, when you look at, you know, for example, the supply issues and the supply chain issues that we're hearing about uh, in the news constantly, yes, part of that has to do to lack of inventory, but it also has to do with lack of visibility into that inventory. Sure. And so sure. Um, why now is data is so important to enterprises and RAIN RFID really gives um, enterprises and consumers visibility into data about their most important things, their assets that are moving across their supply chain, uh, whether it's in an airport, a a hospital, a retail store, uh, or an industrial environment. All of that is critically important to an enterprise, not only to uh, operate more efficiently, but also to start to deliver more delightful experience to consumers. Is my package going to arrive on time? Yeah. Is my bag on the plane? Uh, can right. I you know, walk into a store and know that item is going to be there when I arrive at the store? All of that is possible with better visibility uh, into my inventory as not only when it's in a location, but as it moves across the supply chain. 